Hoi Hoi, and welcome to the channel. Today, we are going to talk about what D&D &D alignment the SCP Foundation would be. In fact, I may make this into a series, like a lot of other things, it's going to depend on how many people tune in and watch, but I thought it might be fun. I've seen videos like this before for characters, and we'll probably go through a couple of characters before the end of this series, but right now, we're going to start with the baseline. What D&D &D alignment would the SCP Foundation be? Now, I've always felt that D&D &D alignments are overly simplistic when it comes down to it. Obviously, you can't, you can't key people into a single box out of nine. And that is more true for a group like the SCP Foundation that is gigantic than it is for a person. However, you can still... What's the best way to put this? If you allow for a broad range of options to fit into one of those boxes, you can narrow it down until you fit them there. And I think when it comes down to the SCP Foundation, a, half of it's easy. Now, a D&D &D alignment has, and this is just for the people who don't know what I'm talking about, which is probably not a lot, but still, has a, uh, a lawful end and a chaotic end, and it has a good end and an evil end, and in between, both of those are neutral. But, say, chaotic good is not somehow less good than lawful good. It's just a difference in the ethics of the reasons why you're doing good. So, a lot of people will pretend like, say, chaotic evil is somehow the most evil, and lawful good is somehow the most good. That's not how it works. It's all about... Uh, respect to authority versus uh, how much good you want to do in the world, basically. And and also why you're doing those things. But that's neither here nor there. When we talk about the SCP Foundation, we half of this is super easy. The SCP Foundation is lawful. If anyone wants to argue against that, they can try. But I don't think there's a good way to argue against uh, lawful on the between chaotic and lawful. They're not neutral, certainly, and they're certainly not chaotic. They have a set of rules. It's in every article <laughs> called Special Containment Procedures. Uh, they categorize SCPs by uh, these brand new classifications that they've come up with. Euclid, Keter, Safe, Apollyon, Thaumiel, and so on. Um, the documents have a very strict structure, <laughs> and you're supposed to follow the rules at the SCP Foundation. It's very, very difficult, I think, for anyone to argue that the SCP Foundation isn't lawful. Because when it comes down to it, they're organized, they enforce a structure, and they follow the rules. Period. But they're not necessarily the rules of society. They are an internal set of rules that they have created that they follow. But they do follow those rules they've created strictly, which still puts them st firmly in the lawful camp. Now, that part's easy. That part's super easy. But if we want to talk about whether they're good or evil, then we run into a problem. First of all, uh, whilst I can say that the SV Foundation in almost every canon is lawful... I there is no one SCP Foundation on the SCP Wiki, which is going to make it very difficult for a lot of these to be structured. Actually, not necessarily, because uh, certain groups of interest, if I decide to do them, and certain characters are portrayed all one way quite a lot. It's the SCP Foundation and a couple of others. They get all over the place portrayals because they're used so much. Uh, so this may be the most difficult one to actually classify. But I would argue that the SCP Foundation is lawful neutral. And I'm going to make my argument for this for this reason. When we talk about good, evil, and neutral on the moral scale uh, versus, and the ethical scale, we'll talk about that too. What we really mean is, <laughs> what are you trying to accomplish? What is the SCP Foundation trying to accomplish? The SCP Foundation enforces its own internal rules to keep anomalies from escaping. They enforce their own internal rules to preserve their own power, which is a point towards evil, but they also do it to help society survive. But there's both positives and negatives to this. 
on the one hand, they keep anomalies that are incredibly dangerous under wraps and keep them from killing people. And that is in a large part their mission statement. That is something that they do specifically for that reason. But also they do it so that they can understand the anomalies better. And here is the reason why I put them in the neutral category instead of good or evil. If the SCP Foundation came across an anomaly that could cure cancer, ensure no one ever went hungry again, uh, and just made people happy without, you know, drugging them up or making them into zombies or something, but like just increased happiness worldwide, but it was anomalous, they would keep it under wraps, period. Even if it only did one of those things, they would keep it under wraps. They don't care about using anomalies to improve people's lives in most canons. Additionally, though, if there is an anomaly out there that could kill a bunch of people or uh, improve their own standing in the world and their own power and their own uh, influence, they also wouldn't release that anomaly into the world. It's more important to keep the anomalies contained. For the SCP Foundation, it's not about good or evil. It's about the law. And that's where we come back to that. That's the reason why I think Lawful Neutral fits them the best. Their focus isn't on saving people necessarily, and their focus isn't on preserving their own power necessarily. These are elements that do come up from time to time, but the primary purpose of their existence is to enforce their own internal rule set. Not about good and evil for them. It's only about their lawfulness. And so... Lawful neutral fits the best. Now, a lot of people have different interpretations of what the alignment system means. That's my own uh, conclusion that I'm coming to from reading and understanding the uh, the ano well the anomaly, the alignment, the anomalous alignment system. No, the alignment system as I understand it. Now, if you have a different opinion. Let me know in the comments down below. If you have another group of interest or a character on the SCP Wiki you'd like to see uh, listed down and see what a not what alignment you think they might be, let me know in the comments down below. Um, hit the like button or the dislike button. It doesn't matter if you hit either. <laughs> I have learned that the algorithm does not care. Uh, but if you like it, hit the like button so it'll it'll suggest more of my videos to you specifically instead of to other people when you hit the dislike button and <laughs> hit the subscribe button that's super important and then head on over to patreon.com forward slash d sumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has and that's it thank you very much for watching and Thank you for letting me know that I'm not alone out here, and I will see you all again on Thursday.